good morning children welcome to today science class in today science class we are going to learn an interesting chapter children yes so now surrounding you there are so many different types of things are there wherever you are sitting there in front of your textbook is there phone is there or laptop is there different things are there surrounding you you are able to see them and identify them yes no children and now tell tell me how are you able to identify these things surrounding you yes of course by seeing by seeing the eyes are helping you to see the things and you are able to identify what is the thing where is it also now you want to imagine a situation it is a dark night and there is no power power cut is there at the same room where you are sitting now you are entering into the room and will you be able to see the things where it is anything you want to find out will you be able to see the things children why eyes are there now you are you are keeping your eyes open then also why you are unable to see yes so you to see the things you will be bringing a torch light or you have to get on candle and later after the power cut is there when you switch on the light you will be able to see yes so now you from this only you can understand that light is essential for seeing the things surrounding us light is not a, a new term to you light is a very familiar term from morning to night we will be using this yes casually also we use the term light then what is this light by now you know that without light we can't able to see then what is this light children yes light is a form of energy form of energy energy is also not a new term energy means what energy is the ability to do the different types of work there are different forms of energy surrounding us available light energy heat energy mechanical chemical different thing different energies are sources of energies are present we are utilizing them and we are able to do the different types of work in our everyday life as yes, no children light energy you know that unless light energy is not given plants cannot be able to prepare the food this one also is uh from the lower classes you all are very well you know that light is very important for our life because even the plants cannot able to prepare the light prepare the food without the light energy so what is this light light is a form of energy and how it is helping us it is helping us to see the things it is enabling us it enables us enables us to see the things around us very simple what is light it is a form of energy how is it helping you it is helping you to see the things surrounding you and how this is possible through your eyes the la every object the light will fall on the every object and get reflects that's how we are going to we are able to see the different things surrounding us so yeah about this reflection and the properties of light we are going to learn in our further classes so now by now you all of you know that light is a form of energy and it is helping us to see the things surrounding us yes no children and uh, when just now we we discussed a particular case that in a dark room you are unable to see so when you are switching on you are able to see but now it is a day time see day time you are able to see completely what is there surrounding you because of the which type of light children very good from the sun we are getting the light day and night because whenever light is there only we say it is a day and we are able to see the different things on the earth yes no children so can you see that something so now just now we discussed no textbook is there notebook is there in your room where you are sitting textbook is there your notebook is there pen is there in your hand eraser is there different things are there just you can list some of the things and you can see Uh, you can uh, try to uh, based on the light you can able to understand one thing that some of the things are able to produce their light own light like the tube light in your room like the sunlight which is entering to your room through the windows but some of the things you are seeing no your eraser pencil uh, pen notebook and all they are unable to produce their light so there are things surrounding us some of them can they some of them can produce their own light so when they are able to produce their own light they can be called as the sources also no children they are also called as the sources of light yes so now surrounding us different types of things are there some of them can produce their own light things emit 
that is emit means nothing it is produce their own light what are they called as already you have learned in your fifth class about this so things which can emit their own light are called as very good they are the luminous objects they are called as luminous luminous the term itself is producing light luminous means producing the light energy they will, they they will be emitting means they will be giving out the light energy they are called as luminous objects just now we we all know that we will get the light from the sun sunlight yes sunlight uh, day time we are able to see everything in the school just imagine you are playing in the playground so many things you are doing you are playing with your cricket bat you are seeing your friends you are catching different things you are doing there which is helping which form of light is which is helping you to see the things surrounding you sun is sun is giving the light and what do you know about the sun children sun is the ultimate source of light no this can be called as sources also yes sun is the ultimate source because of the sunlight we are able to get in a proper proportion that is how the life is possible on the earth yes no children we have learned this in the uh, our primary classes also we have learned about this yes so sun is a is it natural or it is uh, artificially made for example in the room in your room yes you will switch on the tube light yes the night time you want to see anything you will switch on sun light is not available or the room is dark in the day time also sometimes some of the houses are darker so that time we will take the help of the tube light so that is a uh, is it the natural source no it is a artificial source man made source so in the luminous objects all the luminous or luminous means you can understand that they can emit their own light so they can be of two types some are natural just now that is the sun example sun and all the stars so all the stars can produce their own light no children and some are artificial sources artificial and natural sources are luminous objects are of two types natural and artificial what are luminous objects they can emit their own light natural means they will be able to give out their own light naturally like sun stars and you will be uh, uh, amazed to know that even some of the uh, living organisms like uh, small deep sea organisms like uh, starfish jellyfish glowworms fireflies you can see they are on the land only fireflies they are all also able to produce a small amount of light on their own yes so these all are emitting their own light they are called as the natural sources of light are luminous objects which are natural and some of the luminous objects which are artificial they are the man made sources you know that candle we use we use the tube light and even there are so many different things they will become hot and they will emit will when you go to higher classes you will be learning about that like the bulb nowadays maybe you, are, you know you have, might be not having a bulb at home a local bulb will be there in that the tungsten filament will be there which we are going to learn in the electricity chapter it will become hot and will emit some of the objects will become hot and they will emit light like the like our Uh, that is called as incandescent bulb which is bulb all these are the artificially man made sources of light yes to help us to see the things in the darkness so now luminous objects they will they will be they will be able to produce their own light or they can emit their own light in that only we have two different types some are natural and some are artificial i think you all are, and even you can add up just i read two two you can add up so many other things i, I said no firefly go glow worm like that you can add up here the natural sources and also you can add up some more artificial uh, artificial sources of light luminous bodies which are artificial they are also you can add up some more that is out of your interest whenever you are listening to your class you have to keep one notebook and then and there you have to note down the key things what the teacher is explaining later you can recollect what was what all you observed and they can you can able to uh, elaborate it so that your learning will become very effective children so now luminous objects i hope all of you understood about the luminous objects or luminous bodies both means the same now we will move on to the next part of the lesson children so luminous and some of them are unable to produce their 
So now they will be they will be able to emit their own light. And now we will see some things will not be able to produce. Not so many of the things. So now just now in your room, just you have a look around and you can note down some 10 things. Your uh, pillow, bed, uh, whatever is there. You, uh, you keep on uh, naming them. You will find out that surrounding us so many things are there but most of them are non-luminous. That means non-luminous. That means things which do not emit light or their own light or emit light. They are unable to produce the light. Most of them are the non-luminous objects, stone, trees, many things. What you can keep on adding. So many of them are non-luminous. Just in front of you, you have the notebook. You can write notebook. You can write the plastic scale. You can write the table. Keep on, you can add up this list also. You can make more than 10, you are just in your room only you will be getting, which are non-luminous. What do you mean by non-luminous? Things or objects or bodies which will not be able to emit their, emit means they can be unable to produce their light or called as non-luminous. So that's, that also you can only uh, find out more. Just I gave two examples, you can add up more and understand. Yes, luminous, non-luminous objects. I know that by now it is clear for you all. Yes, and what is light? We started with the term light. Light is a form of energy and light can be produced. It's very, very important for our to life to life to be possible on the earth. See, just if plants are unable to produce the food, we cannot imagine life on the earth. So to produce the plants need the light energy. From where you know that without sunlight, photos, this is not at all possible. So you know that this is a very, very important. So many different sources of energy is there. Light is a very important source of energy for the life to exist on the earth. Now, luminous, non-luminous. Then we are going to learn about some more different types of things, children. So now, how are we able to see? Just even some time before we discuss. Yes. In your dark room, you are unable to see. When the light is on, I am. we are able to see what all are things there. That time I said that every object, the light will fall. Yes, all the objects, but from the source of the light, the light will be falling and it will be reflecting. Because of that reflection only, we are able to see the things surrounding us. But sometimes, see children, now I will show you some three things. You will be, uh, one more interesting thing we are going to learn about this light. See here, here I am showing a box. Yes children. So inside the box something brown is there. All of you are able to see. If I just show you and ask what is there inside, you will see that you will say that there is a piece of something. Or else I will remove this and something else I will keep. E easily you will be able to identify what I am. See here. Now I have kept the chocolate. Uh, you can able to see what is. So if I ask you what is there inside children, you will say that Madam, the, you have kept the chocolate and we are... If you don't see me dropping also. So how are you able to see them? See because the light in a dark room. Even if I show you in the complete darkness. You will be not knowing what I am showing you. Yes. So you know that by now you all know that. Light energy is needed for seeing the things. So now how this is you are able to see. So now inside what is there. How are you able to see. The light which is falling on this box. Is passing through. And you are able to see clearly what is there inside. Yes, even in your window pan you can see and my spectacles see, the spectacles also, your parents spectacles are, you can see, you might have seen that what is there other side you will be able to clearly see because this material is allowing the light to pass through it completely. That is why you are able to see what is there inside clearly. Now see, now here is one box, here is a box. So now something I kept inside. Can you tell me what will be there, what is there inside, what did I keep inside? What will be there? Can you able to say that light is falling? No, same. Just now I replace the blocks. Light is falling on it. Then also why you don't know what is there inside? Light is falling on it. No source of light here. Sunlight is there. But why are we unable to see? Because when, when this light is passing through this, this is not allowing the light to pass through it. This material is not allowing the cardboard. Is not allowing to pass through it. That is why you are unable to see what is there inside. What is there inside we are unable to see. Because this cardboard is not allowing the light to pass through it. Now you see here is another, another box. So this box is somewhat it is 
partially it is allowing the light so that if I keep anything inside, see something I keep inside, maybe not clear but something you can guess, something in green or something you have kept random. Why? Because it is allowing the light partially. So, surrounding us also there are different types of things. Some of them are allowing the light to pass through them completely like the first box what I showed. They are called as transparent. They are called as transparent materials. So, transparent materials means water. They will allow the light to pass through them completely. Whatever light is falling on them from the source of light. Let it be a source of sunlight, let it be a tube light or incandescent, but whatever it might be, they will allow the allow light to pass through them completely. Completely they will be allowing to pass through that. That is how we are able to see them. See, when you go to your shop, you go to your shop. They will be arranging all the, in the front or you can see the different chocolates, different attractive things they will keep in a, will they keep in the cardboards and keep it? So, uh, you will not have the interest to buy, you don't know also what, uh, how, uh, what is the wrapper color, uh, how taste, how much, uh, how it will be and also, so they will be keeping it in a very attractive way, in a transparent containers, so that you will be able to see. So, transparent means what? This is also a very common term, no, in our everyday life. How transparent see it is. So that means what that light is scientifically what uh, uh, transparent materials will allow the light to pass through them completely. So examples I think you can only give now. Yes, just now I showed you my specs. It is made up of glass. Yes, and uh, air in between you and me. Air is there. You are able to see me. I am able to see you. Transparent water. Transparent. Yes, no children. So like that you can just I'll write only two. You are going to add. See, you, you are not going to limit it with uh, only two examples what teacher has told. You can add up more surrounding you. You see, observe. Out of observation only, so many things you can learn. Only thing you have to carry the interest. Good. So now air, water, clear water, not uh, dirty water, clear water. So I mentioned there, clear water. And also, sometimes, just now I showed you the plastic box. Children. The plastic is a transparent plastic. So, some plastics are transparent, even also glass. So, 5, 6, 4, 6, 4, I have written, you can continue that. And also, we saw translucent. Yes, no children? Which will not allow the, which will allow the light to pass through it partially. Means, completely it is not allowing. The material is, the nature of the material is like that. It will allow the light to pass through it partially. Partially means half of them it is getting, passing through it. Passing through it. Yes. So, allow light to pass through it, through them partially. They are called as translucent. Yes, they are called as translucent. Just now what I showed it is also a plastic only, one type of plastic only. So, plastic can be, even some plastics are very thick, they are opaque also. So, they are, they are able to, even a uh, paper, oil, your paper you take and apply some oil. So, when you make it, you will be not able to, even the tracing paper and all of it, I see, you know, partially they will allow the light. So, that completely you are unable to see what is there on the other, other side. But you can guess what is there because it is allowing the, some amount of light passing through it. So, you can write paper, sorry, oiled paper, tissue paper also to some extent and also some types of plastics are transfusion you can add up more children more and more examples for this category also then other type the second one which i showed the green color box made up of cardboard such, such, such type of materials will not allow they won't allow the light to pass through them completely they are called as opaque objects yes no children they are called as here i think you can see they are called as opaque objects opaque means what they will not allow the light to pass through them clearly. Opaque materials or objects will not. Things do not allow, do not allow light to pass completely. Completely they will not allow to pass through it. So just now I showed you wood, wooden. Wood, 
anything else you can uh, you are in your friend your rubber is there no eraser that is also opaque and we are opaque no we are also opaque yes you can uh, through us the light is not passing through us so like that you get two i wrote you can even some types of plastics also are opaque yes so that you can add a pen you can understand in a better way in your textbook also there is an activity from your surroundings only picks different things and sort it them sort them as transparent translucent and opaque unless you don't know what is transparent what is translucent and opaque how will you be able to uh, segregate it children so first you understand and then you go for that and complete that tabla column that activity so yes children so now in today's class very simple as it is a starting day class we discussed only just we introduced i introduced you what is the term light means and also we we learned that luminous objects are the objects which are able to emit their own light and then about the non luminous objects then we learned about the transparent translucent and the opaque objects in the next class we will see how this is going to help us to learn further about the light and also the properties of light so today's work a very simple work only because it is already you have learned about it so in your textbook back side there is a question question number you can see and uh, there is a question in which all the different materials are put together you are asked to just to segregate transparent translucent and opaque i hope you can only find out in your textbook light chapter in the textbook back side exercise question there is one question where you are asked to sort the transparent translucent and opaque objects that you will sort out on an a4 sheet you do that and read the textbook just to two pages today we are covered just you read that and complete the tabla column and further you collect information about the uh, light what all you are to uh, learn about it you go and explore about it and be ready the tomorrow's class next class we will learn more about the light children hope you are following the lesson and you will be ready with the work what i have told you thank you children